Hey guys, it's me, Nathaniel Pittman here. Sorry about all the wobbling, but I'm actually climbing on steps. See? Okay, and today's video is that I will show you that the Maceo Rock Crawler that I built, remember, that I put the hook in there and stuck it through that little hole. And I'm going to prove to you guys that this trailer does actually work. And I might have a little surprise for you at the end about another trailer. Well, you know what? I'm not going to make you guys wait. I'm going to go ahead and give it to you now. Okay, here it is. This is a John Deere toy trailer that I bought at the Big Blue store. You guys have probably never heard of that. And, by the way, cars are going by. I'm in the front yard because my granddad's in the front yard. I'm washing his car, and it's too much noise. And so, what am I? what this does is... It does hook up to my little, my little hitch there. See the hole? See how it has that hole? It does hook up and it does pull. And I can haul a few, few pounds of dirt if I get a better motor. See, it dumps. Ah, whee. Whoa now. And the back, I've already been hauling a little bit of mud. In the back, it does open up, so you can put, like, stuff in there and close it and keep it in there. And the tires, of course, they do roll. And you want some proof that the boat moves? Okay, let's go. I've already turned my truck on, so... Here we are. Well, it's hard to film and drive. Very hard. Oh! I'm going to work on that right there. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that right there. Because he's my darn shoes were in the way. Ah, little bastards. And here is how to drive. See how good it does? Look at that boat, it's still staying on there. Hanging on for dear life. Back in park. Okay. And now for the dump trailer. And this is how you want to unhook it. You want to pick it up on your back and easily slide it and easily slide it off so your trailer doesn't jerk or anything and this is what you want to do to put it back on do the same thing see how I got the back jacked up and then just slide it right about there and then drop it on and you're ready to roll okay now we're popping this off I'm sorry my camera's so zoomed in. I don't know what's wrong with my iPod today. Let me try to... Okay. I can't zoom out anymore. Alrighty. Got the dump trailer hooked up. And I'm going to do the dump trailer out in the yard. So I have more space. Whoa! Oh man. Oh, wow. Alrighty. 
and let's get it hooked up. And that is a John Deere brand. That dump trailer, John Deere brand. And it does not come with mud. <laughs> you gotta get it mudded. And go. It's a little struggling, but I might need to put some batteries in it. A few more batteries. It's a fun little truck to drive around. I mean, I never took it hardcore rock crawling, but hey, I just kind of enjoy modifying this little thing to pull trailers around my, around my lawn. But this is kind of fun. Dude, fun. Watch. Back up and turn. And you can do all sorts of things. But, if you try to go rock crawling with any of your trailers, see that? See how easy that thing is to get jacked up more than the front part? Slides right off. Easy. Easy. But, no, I wouldn't recommend going rock crawling with your trailers. But, you can launch your boat off, however. However, if you have a pond, but don't sink your truck in the water, because it is not waterproof unless you waterproof it. Now, here's what I learned. You can only go above water up to there. At the max limit, right there is about that that much, not much, but just whatever. Don't sink your motors or anything up in here. And as you see, I tore the bumper off, <laughs> and my cord is kind of bendy. But I mean, it, this thing has great tread tires. Look at that. Recognize? It's kind of off the summits, isn't it? And see, look. Look at the shot. This thing goes like everywhere. Look. Does this still work? Yep, it still works. See, look. This thing goes down, down, down. And look how high this tire goes up. That right there... Off the ground is like, let me try this. That is like my fist. Look at that. That is like my fist. And it's not even halfway touching the body. Man. I mean, look. That's to where it's touching the body right there. Touching the body. And this thing may get out of whack with the shocks after you, after you keep on testing it out and just la 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 la. May do that, but just if it does, just get it back in position and roll with it. All right, time for the boat launch. We're gonna do a boat launch now. Way Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Wait, Mickey Mouse. Okay. Let's roll. Sorry this video just took so long. I got out of whack talking. I need to shut my mouth. Ah. There's the boat launch. There's the pond. Pond, new thing. Got my pond. Pawn. See, I'm gonna have to work on that. And if you want to do a boat launch, all right, let me turn my truck around. Whoa, let's turn around now. Back in. Oh, guys, by the way. If you want to, you can see my...
Tracks this stampede video. Please do not ask me if I still have that truck. It's one of a kind. It's my first, first high-tech RC that I've ever had in my life. So, so I really want to keep it. But by the way, it is two-wheel drive. See how my boat is kind of in there? And all you got to do is take your finger and go whoop. And then, then just pull on out. Pull on out and you're good. Boat. Truck trailer. Boat. Whoa. Truck trailer. Boat. Truck trailer. Like. Bye.